This is All India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. The Election Commission of India, headed by CEC Sunil Arora, held a review meeting at Tezpur in Assam yesterday. The team took stock of the steps being taken to ensure free, fair and safe polls in the first and second phases. Deputy Commissioners and Superintendents of Police of the districts where the first phase of polls would be held took part in the deliberations. Union Home Minister and BJP leader Amit Shah alleged that if Congress is voted to power in Assam, the party would again allow infiltration. Addressing an election rally at Jonai, he said that while Congress promotes divisive policies, the Modi-led government works on the principle of Sabka Saat, Sabka Vishwas and Sabka Vikash Mantra. Mr. Shah said that a slew of development works have been done in Assam during the BJP rule. He also promised to set up a board for the development of the mission community. Assam Chief Minister Sarbanan Sonwal also attended the rally. Later, he campaigned at Majuli and Udalguri. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi also held three rallies in Assam yesterday. Ms. Gandhi promised to repeal the CAA in Assam if the party comes to power. Senior BPF leader and Minister Rihon Daimari campaigned at Ghogra Tea Estate at Udalguri. In poll-bound Assam, Chief Minister Sarbanan Sonwal is seeking re-election from the Majuli seat. The Majuli constituency, which is uh, one of the most sought-after tourist destinations in the Northeast, is witnessing a peak in campaigning. Polling will be held on the 27th of this month. In 2016, Sarbanan Sonwal defeated his nearest rival Rajib Lochan Pegu, a former Congress minister by a margin of 19,000 votes. This time also, Congress has feeded Mr. Pegu against the chief minister. There are three more candidates vying at Majuli, which is known as the seat of neo-Vaishnavite culture. The biggest river island had been declared as a district by the Sonwal government after coming to power. Apart from the BJP, the Congress and other candidates are also holding rallies, door-to-door -door visits to attract the 1,30,000 voters. Connectivity, flood and erosion are some of the issues that the voters want to be resolved in the coming days. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh launched the state chapter of the Jal Shakti Abhiyan, Catch the Rain, yesterday. Mr. Singh instructed the officials to form a Joint Committee of Water Resources Department, PHED, and Minor Irrigation for the successful implementation of the campaign that will continue from 22nd March to the 30th of November to mitigate the problem of water scarcity. The Chief Minister administered water pledge to conserve and use water judiciously. World Water Day was observed in Meghalaya yesterday. The Office of the Deputy Commissioner, East Kasi Hills District, in collaboration with Office of the Divisional Soil and Water Conservation Officer, organized a program with the theme, Catch the Rain Where It Falls, When It Falls. The program was held at Aurobindo Institute of Indian Culture, Shillong. Additional Deputy Commissioner and Project Director DRDA D. Hnyota said that though there is water available everywhere, safe drinking water is very less. The World Water Day was also observed at ICR Research Complex at Umyam to highlight the importance of water conservation. IAM Shillong and Consortium of Accredited Health Care Organizations recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding for Collaborative Excellence in Teaching and Research. They will also share resources to improve the quality of healthcare delivery system in the country. And Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu yesterday lauded athletes Katu Yomcha and Cherayana for winning four medals at the 30th Sub-Junior, Senior, Master and Physically Challenged Men's and Women's National Strength Lifting and Incline Bench Press Championship held in West Bengal. Katu Yomcha bagged a silver medal in the Strength Lifting and a bronze medal in the Incline Bench Press. Charayana won a silver medal each in the strength lifting and inclined bench press categories. And with that, we're in the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.